Hello, and this is Cooking with Dee and Family in the Background. Today, we'll be making homemade red skin mashed potatoes with garlic and cheese. We'll be making homemade meatballs with golden mushroom gravy, and we'll be making sauteed green beans. So first, I'm gonna show you what ingredients you're gonna need. First, you're gonna need a five pound bag of red skin mashed potatoes. You wanna make sure you wash them, and you wanna make sure you cut off the little buds that they can tend to have um, in them. So I already have those boiling over here, Here. and they've been boiling since probably about 3 30 they've been boiling and they're almost done you want to boil them to they're good and soft so the other ingredients that you're going to need on today are you're going to need some white mushrooms and I've already cut those white mushrooms up and I've washed them and I have about two cups of white mushrooms I also have two pounds of ground beef and in that ground beef I put Montreal steak seasoning kosher salt, or you can use regular salt, a little garlic salt. I've put chopped onion flakes. You can use real onions if you want, but I like to use the chopped onion uh, written. I'm actually recording. So you are also going to put chopped onions in and just a little season all. And you're going to put a half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. And that's what's going to go in your ground beef, which I already done all that. Next, you're going to need three cups of beef broth. You're also going to need two cans of golden mushroom condensed soup, Campbell's soup. And so that's two cans. If I say cups, I'm sorry, but that's two cans. You're going to need one heaping tablespoon of flour and add your water in it so it's to help thicken your gravy. You're going to need sharp cheddar cheese, mild cheddar cheese, and you're going to need some minced garlic. So now we already have our meatball mixture ready. Um, we have the two eggs in here. And so anytime you're making um, ground beef with meatballs, for every pound of ground beef, you want one egg. So we have two pounds of ground beef. So we have two eggs in here and I put all my seasonings and I put a half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to form our meatballs. Well, we formed our meatballs and we formed them into nice size meatballs. So you can form them into whatever size you want to, but we formed our meatballs. Mine are kind of medium, um, so they're a nice size. So we formed our meatballs and we're gonna put our meatballs in our oven on 350 and we're gonna let them cook. While we're waiting for our meatballs to finish cooking and while we're waiting for our mashed potatoes to finish boiling and getting soft we're going to go ahead and start on our sauteed green beans so i have a family size of pick sweet whole green beans and i put about two tablespoons of two tablespoons of margarine into the pan and so now i'm going to pour the green beans into the pan i've poured them into our pan and i've added about one fourth cup of water I've added some garlic salt and I've added a little pepper and now I'm going to cover our green beans with a lid and I'm going to let them cook. So they've started to cook and it's only been about three minutes and so you only want to cook these no more than about 10 minutes. So it's only been about three minutes so um, we're going to come back and we're going to let them continue to cook. We're going to cover them back up and we're going to let them continue to cook. You don't want them to get dark green. You still want them to be a bright green color. So we're going to let them cook just a couple more minutes. Our green beans have cooked for about seven minutes. And so now what we're going to do, see how those look nice and bright green. We're just going to add them into our bowl. Those look nice and crunchy. And so we've cooked our green beans. Again, we've used two tablespoons of two tablespoons of margarine, one fourth cup of water, and we've added whatever seasonings that we wanted to add, which I added a little pepper and a little garlic salt. And we let them cook for about seven minutes. So now we're gonna move on to our mashed potatoes. Our red skin mashed potatoes have finished boiling and they're ready to be mashed. And what I usually do is I have a mashed potato masher and I just use this and kind of mash down just a little bit a mash down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my milk in. And once I put my milk in, it'll really start to come together. So when we come back, they're going to be mashed a little bit and we're going to add our milk. 
We've mashed our mashed potatoes, our red skin mashed potatoes, and I've now added one stick of margarine. We've now added one cup of whole milk. We've added one cup of whole milk, and as you can see, our mashed potatoes are really coming together. Mmm, those are gonna be nice and creamy. And you can add more milk if you want to. It's depending on the, the consistency that you want. So I'm gonna add a half a cup more of milk. So we've so far we've done a stick of margarine and we're gonna do one and a half cups of milk. Oh, those whipped mashed potatoes are looking great. We've also added a tablespoon of minced garlic and we've sprinkled a little bit of garlic salt and pepper to our mashed potatoes. I've now added a half a cup of cheddar sharp cheese and a half a cup of mild cheddar cheese. So our mashed potatoes are done. Ooh, those look so good. So again, we've boiled a five pound bag of red skin mashed potatoes. After they boiled, we started to mash them and we put a stick of margarine, a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic, a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of pepper, We've put one and a half cups of milk, and we've put a half a cup of cheddar cheese and a half a cup of cheddar sharp cheese. So our mashed potatoes are done. Next up is our meatballs. Our meatballs are now done. They're out of the oven. And so I would say I cooked them for probably about 45 minutes. Um, you just cook them until they're done, until the hamburger meat is done. So now we're going to begin to make our gravy. First, we wanna make sure that we turn our oven on and we wanna turn our oven on about medium high. So once we turn our oven on, we're gonna now add our three cups of beef broth. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that warm up and we're gonna let it start to boil before we do anything else. We're back and it's part two. Our meatballs and our broth have started to boil. So remember, we have our meatballs in here and we have three cups of beef broth. Now we're gonna add our two cans of golden mushroom condensed soup. We've added the two cans of golden mushroom condensed soup. Now we're gonna add our flour and water mixture so that we can thicken up our gravy mix. We're adding one spoon, two spoons. We're gonna stir it around a little bit. Ooh, it's already starting to thicken up. We're adding three spoons. So we're gonna add about three to four tablespoons of our flour and water mixture so that our gravy thickens. Gonna let that cook and boil just a little bit. It's now boiling. We've added a little bit of pepper. And with this gravy, you don't need to add any extra salt because of course the meatballs have the seasonings in them and that golden mushroom condensed soup also has you know salt con content added in it. So you don't need any more salt. I just added a little pepper. Now we're gonna add our two cups of sliced mushrooms. Our two cups of sliced mushrooms and we're adding those and stirring that in so we have our finished product we have our red skin homemade red skin mashed potatoes with garlic and cheese we have our sauteed green beans and we have our homemade meatballs with golden mushroom gravy so we're gonna go back over everything one more time the sauteed green beans, you need two tablespoons of margarine, one fourth cup of water, and your green beans, saute them for about seven minutes, no more than 10 minutes. Next, we have our red skin mashed potatoes. You need a five pound bag of red skin mashed potatoes. Boil them until they're soft. Once you've boiled them, then you wanna mash them. Once you've mashed them, then you wanna add one and a half cup of milk, a tablespoon of minced garlic, a little garlic salt, a little pepper, one stick of margarine. Then you wanna also add a half a cup of cheddar cheese, a half a, cu a half a cup of sharp cheddar cheese. And you wanna mash them and stir them and they're gonna be nice and creamy. 
And then we have our homemade meatballs, which is two pounds of ground beef, two eggs. We put our seasonings in, whatever kind of seasonings that you want to put in. Then we put a half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs and we let them cook. Once we did that, we added them to the pot and we put three cups of beef broth. And we also added two cans of golden mushroom condensed soup by Campbell's. And we also, after we did that, we stirred it in and we stirred it in really, really, really good. And we added three tablespoons of our flour water mixture, which consists of a heaping tablespoon of flour. We added water to it and we added three tablespoons um, of the soupy mixture. We stirred it up and we added two cups of sliced white mushrooms and we're finished. So we're going to see what a plate looks like. So here's our plate with our sauteed green beans, our golden mushroom and mashed potatoes and our golden mushroom gravy and our homemade meatballs. So there you have it, folks. That's all for today. And it's great as leftovers. So see you next time with Cooking with D and Family in the Background.